How did the waiter trials go? As I suspected, they were all terrible. It was a complete and utter waste of my valuable time. Just tell me who the winner is. Mr. Eugene Krabs. He will make a uh, nearly competent waiter. Figures. It is his restaurant, after all. Make sure Mr. Krabs is on set in five minutes. The Krusty Krab. Here we find Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy sent to find the sneaky hermit. But the hermit is not here. Only tasty and nutritious meals at affordable prices. Oh, come on, Mermaid Man. That shady character at the beach obviously sent us on a wild goose chase. Don't be silly, son. There are no wild geese here. We're at the bottom of the ocean. Waiter. Oh, jeez. Ah, yeah. huh. A little more pepper, please. I sure do love it. Me too. It's cheap. A little more. More. A little more, thanks. Just a bit more. You uh, want to keep that pepper? I'll add it to your bill. Thanks. I sure love that pepper. Hey, oh, we're wasting time. We should be out finding the sneaky hermit. Did you say sneaky hermit? Yes, I did. Hey! Triangle Lovers Club with the hermit once, many years ago. Well, that's a coincidence. Yep. Do you have any idea where this hermit is now? Nope. Well, have you seen anything suspicious? Well, if you called Man Ray carrying a wriggling sack into the chum bucket suspicious, then yes. I call that suspicious. Cause no one goes into the chum bucket. When did you see this? Right now, out the window right there. Merciful muscles, mermaid man, we've got work to do. To the chum bucket! There's a fee for making dramatic announcements! Oh, yes, thanks. Uh, now where was I? Oh yeah, to the chum bucket, away! How did the beach tryouts go? They were awesome. The little guys tried their hearts out. And who was the winner? The Crab Man. Crabs is the winner. Guess he's not so crusty after all. Get Mr. Crabs down to the set for the lookout roll. On the lookout for a crab called the Sneaky Hermit, who is still at large and may have accomplices. You're on the news, boss. We could sell advertising space. Think of the money. Well, I'm not making much being a lookout, but here's what I spy. Lil Nipper. Another nipper. Old fellers in tights. Scallywag. False alarm! It's just the letter M. Greetings, sea creature. Arr! What can I get you, gentlemen? Gelp Sunday? Sea cucumber split? Information on any of the major supervillains? Super what now? No, I'd like two scoops of high-fiber ice cream with Brussels sprout sprinkles. Mm. Oh, thought you might have been looking for a supervillain. Someone hermit-like, a bit sneaky. There's a sale on underpants. I, I mean, a sneaky hermit. That's the one. Was here not long back. Said something about being hungry. Something about the crusty crab. Jumpin' Jellyfish Mermaid Man, the Sneaky Hermit must be at the Krusty Krab. We should go immediately. Well, I don't need new undies, but I'm happy to go to the Krusty Krab. Away! Well, I got rid of them for you. You've come to the wrong place if you're after a tip, lad. Great. Thanks. No, really. Hello! Supervillains, look out speaking. Yes, Sneaky Hermit. I surely won't let anyone get past me sharp eyes again. Ah, crab sticks. What can I do for you, Mr. Man Ray and Mr. Dirty Bubble Sirs? Oh, I knew these disguises wouldn't work. What a waste of two bucks. Uh, we're looking for the Sneaky Hermit's secret hideout. The secret one? That's just over the hill there. 
Well, that was easy. Sure. Follow the signs. You can't miss it. That was fantastic. So, who's our big star? Who is the best on the course? Oh, Mr. Hammerstein, I am so sorry. I have never seen such bad driving. This is truly a dark day for Mrs. Puff's driving school. Come now, Mrs. Puff. The audience loved it. I say, give them what they want. Now, who's the winner? Who won the police officer role? Mr. Eugene Krabs. Well, good for him. Must have appealed to the older demographic. Nice hosting job, Mrs. Puff. Get Mr. Krabs down to makeup. See if they can make him look young. Or at least younger. Ah! Ooh, sorry, Barnacle Boy. I must be in the passenger seat. Remind me again why we made the invisible boat feel invisible. Clear. All clear. Still clear. Arr, I love double overtime duty. Officers, be on the lookout for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in their invisible boat mobile. They are believed to be old and dangerous. Arr. Officer, have you seen Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Stiver me timbers! That sounded like the invisible boat mobile. Was that them? Arr, that it was, that it was. Apprehend them at once. Aye, aye, Captain. Long as I get paid. Money, 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 it's a police siren, Barnacles. We can solve the disappearing building mystery, and we can't do that if we're arrested. I'm sorry, I was thinking about cabbage. You were saying? Floor it! Barnacle boy, I know a shortcut that is confusing. Hold on! Money! Ah. Money! Update on the chase, officer. Oh, this peddling will be the end of me. Oh, wait, I see him. Uh, mermaid man? Not now, son. I'm trying to concentrate on all these devious twists and turns. Uh, mermaid man? They'll never catch us now. They couldn't keep up with the boat mobile. Bear do wells ready for the brig, Captain. So, who's the star of this scene? Who's my maestro? The winner was... Yes? Mr. Eugene Krabs. Eugene Krabs. Not a very Hollywood name, but a star's a star. Quick, get Mr. Krabs down to the set. They're about to start shooting. The Sand Stadium, cultural hub of our undersea art community, home of quality music from Bikini Bottom's finest performers, and also these guys. It's good to know if there's any trouble, the audience is safe tonight. For amongst them are Bikini Bottom's finest crime fighters, and also these guys. Barnacle Boy? Barnacle Boy? Oh, what is it now? I'm trying to watch. Who's winning? What do you... Oh, look. I told you, it's a musical performance, not a football game. Ah, you're only saying that because your team's losing. Oh! <laughs> no, I... Oh, jeez. Who scored? Arr! Welcome aboard, all you heavily paying customers! Me and the Whaler Sailors here will play a few shanties for your pleasure. Feel free to throw money. No coin too heavy. <laughs> that quarterback is showing real promise this season. Did you find the hot dog chewy this evening, Barnacle Boy? It wasn't a hot dog. It was the arm of the chair, you old coot. I thought it was a bit stale and hard to lift. 
I probably shouldn't have eaten all that cheesecake either. <laughs> What have you done this time, Mermaid Man? Oh, look! It's Mermaid Man! He's gone mad and destroyed the sand stadium! Someone call the police! Mermaid Man must have gone evil! Oh, yeah. ah! oh, geez. Come on, Mermaid Man, we better get to the bottom of this disappearance before we're arrested. I hope the merchandise stand hasn't sold out of those big foam hands. I love those things. So, how did our actors do in the auditions for the captive role? They were keen, they were eager, they were... Eh, not very good. Surely one was better than the rest. Mr. Krabs would make an excellent captive. Ooh, he'll hate being in the chum bucket. Thanks, Karen. Mr. Krabs to the lot. The cameras start rolling in five minutes. Ooh. Oh! Oh, me poor legs. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, 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 oh. Me see legs are turning to see jelly. That kid is so annoying. Yes, my hollow spherical accomplice. But it'll prove an adequate distraction for our bumbling superheroes. The sneaky hermit will be pleased. Let's invite our new chum to my lair. We can concoct our evil plans over herbal tea. Oh, oh, oh. By the power of Darjeeling! What a capital idea! Wait, what's that? It sounds like the invisible buffoon mobile. Our heroes have arrived! I'll have a burger and fries! I mean, unhand that captive, you vile fiends! Oh, thank me, lucky stars! It's nice to see you, boys! You're too late, moron man. The mayor's child is trapped inside a vortex of stinkiness. <laughs> the treadmill creates static, keeping the vile stench from the chum bucket food at bay. But stop running and wham! It's nothing but slimy skin and skunk jokes for a really long time. <laughs> That's diabolical, dirty bubble, and really kind of icky. Try to save the mayor's kid, if you will. It should keep you occupied for quite some time. <laughs> uh, mermaid man? Oh, sorry. It, it got caught up in the moment. So long, old-timers! Dag, Nabbit, this is only gonna stall us from finding the sneaky hermit. But we really gotta free the mayor's kid. Oh yeah, the kid. You're gonna be just fine. Oh, sweet, merciful Neptune! What is that smell? It's the vortex of stickiness, Mermaid Man. We've got to shut off this machine and free the captain. Did we shut it off? Nope. How about now? Nope. Now? Mm, nope. Get it quicker, boys! This ain't fun! Is it off? Nope. Still? Nope. Oh, yeah. ah! We are so mad! We got double cross! While we were here setting up traps to help the sneaky hermit, the hermit was busy stealing our lairs! Wow, that really is sneaky. Sounds like this hermit is sneakier than all of us. Um, what would you fellas say to combining forces and going after this villain together? That's pretty much why we're here. Well, that was easy. I know a hunter in jellyfish fields who could track anything. I bet we'll be able to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail with a little help. Well, there's nothing much left to say except... Supermates from both sides of the fence of good and evil! Uh, fellas? Remember me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me get that for you. That was fantastic! Well, I don't like to brag, but... Ow! So, who was the most electrifying contestant? Mr. Oh! Krabs. Mr. Krabs it is. Good work, Kevin. 
Get Mr. Krabs down to the hunter roll set. So, where is this hunter, Pumpernickel boy? No name calling during the truce, remember? Maybe the hunter is hunting the jellyfish king. Or maybe we're wasting our time. What if this hunter knows nothing or doesn't even exist? My hunter's instincts tell me you seek the sneaky hermit. Cross that name! I do! If you're quiet, I'll help you. Cross that name! Arr, that's better. Follow me. Hermit crabs carry a lot on their backs, so they're always in danger of tipping over. I see. I see. When I wear my glasses, which I've lost again. Quit standing on my foot, Man Ray. Goodness sake, you don't have a foot, you infernal ball! A hermit likes big things. I bet there's a really big building in the hermit's sights. The hermit wears tights? The permit test bites? Old Herbert was right. The jelly pudding was lightly toasted and pajamas? <laughs> I think the hermit likes plush armchairs. What? That's not helpful. Well, it could be. Yes, you never know. Comfort is important, young ward. Good heavens! Was that me? Oh, oh my! I am so sorry. Well, I am full of air, you know. A bestie with your noise! I'll track the hermit myself if you just leave me be! Oh, well, that's decent of you. <laughs> you can come with us in our invisible boatmobile. Away. Just great. You really put them through a tough tryout. Hey, Gil. Most of the weaklings fell by the wayside, but we have our prison champion, our top dog, our number one, our numero uno. Okay, okay, okay. I get the idea. Who's the winner? Mr. Krabs. He is the best of the worst, sir. Great, great. He'll fit the role perfectly. Send Mr. Krabs to the jail set. Now let's go over it again. Are you sure you didn't hit the building obliteration button when you were fooling around with your utility belt? I'm sure of it, Barnacle Boy. I was full of cheesecake, I reached down to loosen my belt, and I pressed this button by accident. Oh, jeez. I, 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 I sure wish you'd stop fiddling with that thing. You make me nervous. Nothing to be afraid of, Barnacle Boy. It's just my chin cam. Looky. Such a handsome chin. And here's the picture I took at the Sand Stadium right before it vanished. Well, that proves it wasn't you that caused the mess. This time, at least. Uh, hey, thing or two about mess. I remember a filthy scurvy by the name of Messy Messerson. Or Stanley or something. Filthiest landlubber that ever loved the land. Oh, the tales I could tell. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, somehow I don't think this is the work of someone called Stanley. No, it doesn't sound like Stanley's style at all. Stanley Messy Messerson likes to make a mess. The sand stadium vanished too cleanly. Man Ray! Our number one arch nemesis. That's right, Super Zero. It's me! <laughs> so, what are you in for? I got caught jaywalking. Could you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad? I got caught for having bad breath in a public place. <laughs> a dirty bubble! Oh. Our second most arch nemesis. Space toy. Oh, not again. Spoil sport. Now, let's talk about the disappearance of the sand stadium. I think a giant monster robot teleported it to another dimension. Monster. Stranger things happen. Though it could also have been the sneaky hermit. 
The sneaky hermit. Of course! This crime shows all the signs that have been present throughout the hermit's criminal career. What signs? What does the sneaky hermit do? I think it would be fair to say that the sneaky hermit steals buildings. A fine observation, my villainous companion. Now, if everyone will excuse us, this sudden freedom has renewed my eagerness for villainy. Come, dirty bubble. Ooh, let's start with jaywalking. They couldn't possibly catch us twice. We should probably catch those two, you know. All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. First, I think we've got a hermit to catch. We'll start with the beach, cause hermits love the beach. To infinity and beyond! I love the captain's basket and a side order of... That was great! So, who's the winner? Dinner? I don't need dinner! Hey, nabbit, it's morning, you crazy city folk! I told you no good would come from city folk! Sheesh! Who is the winner? Winner? Well, why didn't you just ask? The cheap one, Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs it is! Send for Mr. Krabs. He's needed down on the set. Filming starts in five minutes. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The winner is Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs has won the Super Villain Roll! Arr, look at all me stuff! I stole it because I'm a villain. And soon, me laddie, soon. I really should fix that chair. Meow. Soon I'll own everything. <laughs> oh, my sweetness. You left me dry and took our home, and now I'm crabby and evil and want to steal all of the teeny Just when I was getting nice and angry. Ah, oh, the famous sneaky hermit. We meet at last. We just broke out of the joint. And we brought cookies. Money'd be better. But come in. So what are you thinking? We've noticed you've been doing some delightfully evil work of late. And we're thinking of a team-up. A team-up of evil! <laughs> We'll help each other out, hatch evil plans, make prank phone calls. It'll be fun. What do you say? Arr, I like this idea, because it'll fit right into my own selfies and evil plans. <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> Take this money bag, I mean, uh, prisoner, and distract Mermaid Man. Then we can do evil! Hurrah! I think this is going to work out just fine. Come, Dirty Bubble, let's begin our alliance of sneakiness. Let's go to the chum bucket. I have an idea. See you soon, sneaky hermit. Yes, farewell, hermit. I think this is the beginning of a diabolical friendship. Oh, it'll be something. See you later, maybe. <laughs> now everyone will be out of my way. Hooray! I'm off to visit a couple of unguarded supervillain layers. Sleep well, and keep away from your money. <laughs>